Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Friday, September 13th, 2019. I'm the Drunk Poker, which is beer time. I had to change my shirt. Uh, so thanks to, again to Dan Seuss from uh, Natterjack for sending me a beer mail, included a new shirt. My problem is I can't wear brand new shirts. They need to be washed first. I have this weird thing where it just feels itchy. So it's in the wash now. It fit. Thank you very much. Very few brewery shirts fit me. I'm a bigger gentleman. So I'm just saying, breweries, if you're listening, please... Think of your rotund fellas. Why not? Uh, thank you again for the beer, my friend. Um, Natterjack Brewing in West Lorne, uh, founded by the Seuss family, um, in memory of their, their son, brother, Uncle Matt, uh, who passed away in 2015. This this one's been, it's an emotional journey because, you know, it's it, it was a young fella and he had dreams of opening his own brewery, worked in, in Ontario Craft Beer. So they've brought that to life. They've opened a family brewery and that is a story in and of itself. Um, far be it for me to be the one to tell it. I just bring it to your attention. Take, take a look at them. I will leave a link down below to their website. Uh, let's get into another beer. Seuss. Seuss's Juices. Seuss's Juices. Uh, it's built as an American strong ale made with uh, British chocolate malt. Nine. Nine percent. Nine percent. Nine percent? Nine percent. Fifty IBUs. I'm like, what's my best post-dinner beer with Mrs. Polk gone? Well, I needed something a little slow sipping, and 9% seems like slow sipping. It is a beautiful night here in southern Ontario. Uh, it's probably sitting at 25, 26 degrees. Humidex in the 30s, and that's just fine by me. A nice nutty, toffee, bit of dark roasted chocolate in there. Uh, let's get into it. So again, thank you to Dan from Natterjack Brewing for sending this stuff my way. Appreciated. Obliged. Hope to visit you soon. Cheers. Dan, Dan said this was his favorite, and I think I can see why. Um, while I did enjoy that Belgian Blonde, that was a nice beer. That was a good beer. This is a little more. And again, bigger ABV. You know, you guys know I love my slow sippers, right? So with this one, you're stepping up that ABV of it, right? It's not really boozy. It's a little bit of heat on the back, but not a lot. Um, Front-end loaded caramel. Uh, there's a nuttiness in there. Pretty toasted malt body. Um this is a very, very nice beer. <laughs> it's funny, you go from a 7.6 seven, to a 9, you're like, ooh. But you know what? Mm, good decision. Dry on the back end, lingers with some nuttiness, some caramel. It's, it's, it's a sweeter, toasty malt beer, right? It is a strong beer, dangerous at 9%, because while it does taste strong, I'd put it in like the 6 category. You'd be like, all right, yeah, 6%, I can have a couple of these. Do yourself in. Um... It's Friday. Now, I go back to work tomorrow. I had the last two days off, which was, you know, retail weekends are always fun because there's less people when you got to go do your stuff. But I'm back at work tomorrow, but I hope you're off. I hope you're going to enjoy the weekend with your friends and family. Go for a road trip. Go visit Natterjack. You know what? It's a beautiful, beautiful weekend to get out there, and it's only going to keep getting more beautiful as the fall approaches. And Southern Ontario is one of the most beautiful places on Earth with some great beer from places like Natterjack. So cheers, my friends. Enjoy your weekend. Gotta take little sips, cause at nine percent, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh.